now from the stomach the bolus now entered into the duodenum how many parts of duodenum we have what are they first part second part third part and the fourth part okay so among these four parts the second part of duodenum is having a major role to be considered why because from the second part of the duodenum you have a leaf like organ called as pancreas it is going to give the secretion which is going to reach the duodenum at the level of the second part okay so this pancreas it is also called as the next uh, topic we are going to see is the pancreas so pancreas is ha is a both exocrine and endocrine gland in the exocrine part it is giving pancreatic juice and among the composition of pancreatic juice the same pattern of composition what we saw in the gastric juice salivary juice it's the same but the organic content which is present in the pancreatic juice is different it has all the digestive enzyme and among that most important is the trypsin inhibitor okay what is this trypsin inhibitor is going to do we will see okay so this is about the organic content and in the composition inorganic content the most highest concentration will be accompanied by the bicarbonate okay so this bicarbonate rich pancreatic juice will have what kind of ph acidic ph or alkaline ph bicarbonate in case of hcl stomach what ph is there acidic or alkaline it is highly acidic in the stomach the bicarbonate rich pancreatic juice will be highly alkaline okay so from the pancreas the pancreatic juice will be secreted this is how you will have the major pancreatic duct and you have all the it is a leaf like organ because you have all these are the minor pancreatic duct okay in the walls of these pancreatic duct you have acinar cells as same like that of respiratory bronchioles salivary gland acinar cells you have pancreatic acinar cells which have the same arrangement like this it will give its secretion it goes to the small ducts these are the place where you have the small ducts so from the small ducts all will go and join with the major pancreatic duct so this major pancreatic duct will drain at the level of the second part of duodenum okay so among the digestive enzymes trypsin inhibitor all the other common electrolytes sodium potassium magnesium you have everything in the pancreatic juice but peculiarly it is rich with the bicarbonate so this rich source of bicarbonate from the pancreatic juice which is entering the level of the duodenum which makes the duodenal wall and the lumen to be highly alkaline why this is to be considered is because the bolus is going to enter from stomach into the first part of the intestine that is called as duodenum the bolus from the stomach it is completely mixed with the rich source of acidic hydrochloric acid so the bolus will contain the acidity the mucus rich gastric environment is present only in the stomach duodenum is not having the rich source of mucus to coat the inner lumen of the duodenum so if the bolus from the stomach directly enters into the duodenum there is a more chance for the 
erosion of the duodenal wall by the acidic bolus so in order to prevent the auto erosion from the food bolus which is coming from the high acidic environment of the stomach the duodenum is maintaining its high alkaline environment that is maintained by the accessory organ of the git which is the pancreatic juice okay so if the pancreatic juice is not having high source of bicarbonate then the acidic environment will not happen so sorry the alkaline environment will not be maintained in the duodenum it may cause erosion yes even it will be encountered over here the entire duodenum will be now covered with the pancreatic secretion second part of duodenum is mentioned because the main pancreatic drug is connecting at the second part of the duodenum it doesn't mean the pancreatic juice will be present only in the second part of duodenum as like what we have seen in the stomach the parietal cell is present in the body it doesn't mean only the body of stomach contains hcl okay here so this is the significance of rich concentration of bicarbonate in the pancreatic juice okay so next thing in the pancreatic juice the important thing which we are going to see is the other digestive enzymes so we have seen pancreas is the one which is having rich source of digestive enzymes what are all those digestive enzymes so in the digestive enzymes the first one is pancreatic amylase so it means what it is going to digest carbohydrates so this pancreatic amylase what it will do is it will convert starch into maltose maltose and alpha dextrin next the second one is other digestive enzymes all the other digestive will, enzymes will remain in, in its pro enzyme form which will be converted into active form of enzymes okay some examples of this pro enzymes are trypsinogen which is converted into trypsin this conversion is taking place because of the presence of enzyme called as enteropeptidase okay and the second one is chymotrypsinogen it is converted into chymotrypsin and how this conversion is taking place because of trypsin and this trypsin in itself is also acting as a autocatalyst okay and the third one is proelastase converted into elastase so what this will digest the elastins which is present in the food particle whatever you are eating okay and then pro carboxypeptidase corresponding to the respective names it will digest the respective composition of the food particles it is pro carboxypeptidase is converted into carboxypeptidase so for all this you want trypsin as a catalyst so overall this trypsin is considered to be the most important enzymatic concentration in the pancreatic juice which is the one stimulating all the enzymes to become in its active form and in the pancreatic uh, organic content we have seen the digestive enzymes what we have seen and there is one more enzyme called as trypsin inhibitor 
what is this trypsin inhibitor this trypsin inhibitor is one of the important concentration which prevents the auto digestion of the own pancreatic muscles okay if the trypsin inhibitor is absent or deficient in the pancreatic juice it causes erosion of the own pancreatic cells resulting in pancreatitis okay because this trypsin inhibitor if it is not there this trypsin will convert all the enzyme to its active form also it will digest the pancreatic muscle okay clear yeah? so that is the main thing with the trypsin and all these enzymes helps in the protein digestion so carbohydrate digestion is made by which enzyme in the pancreas pancreatic alpha amylase before we have seen one more amylase where salivary amylase so the beginning of carbohydrate digestion is in the mouth itself because of salivary amylase and we also you have lingual lipase the beginning of fat digestion and then you have gastric lipase in the gastric secretion and you have pepsin in the gastric secretion and these enzymes mainly involve in the digestion of proteins okay the major amount of digestion is happening in the proteins because of these enzymes okay and the next function uh, uh, when compared to the functions if you mention the functions the main role is neutralization of acid kind how it is doing just now i have explained how the acid kind acidic kind is being neutralized okay and the second important function is trypsin inhibitor which prevents the auto digestion of the pancreatic juice okay and some clinical aspects that is acute pancreatitis this is in the absence of trypsin inhibitor okay we will feel acute pancreatitis in the absence of trypsin inhibitor resulting in the auto digestion of the pancreatic and chronic pancreatitis it is mainly due to the blockage in the pathway resulting due to gallstone and second one of chronic pancreatitis is deficiency of the all pancreatic enzymes due to the abnormality in the pancreatic cells so in chronic pancreatitis because of this scenario it results in the absence of fat digestion so overall fat digestion will get affected so as a result of this you will encounter the clinical observation as satiorrhea what is satiorrhea excretion of undigested fat in the stool because of the deficiency of pancreatic digestive enzymes okay this resulting in the excretion of undigested pancreatic juice which you call as satiorrhea okay so this completes the pancreas 